Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. At the very last day of GDC 2013 in San Francisco, and finally uh, we could get our hands on one of the products I've been really looking forward to see in person because it's been also one of these 5,691 amazing people that inspired these guys to finally bring it to the market. Um, that's a so called game stick. Uh, it's a small little stick, like this one here. I'm going to tell you everything about this. This is um, the developer's edition here, and basically we could have even faked a little unboxing with it. So of course you have your connector for HDMI and a USB connector in here, right? And of course it also comes with a controller and the game stick itself. I will keep in mind that this is the developer's edition. That's a prototype. The retail version will look quite different. And and some, some of you remember it maybe from Kickstarter that there was actually a docking bay for the game stick itself that they could put it into the controller. So this is just uh, a non-working version here right now. But there is a game stick connected to this screen here. And we're using this controller just to show you a little bit how the, the front end looks like. So of course we have the, the games here, media settings, feature play now, popular all and a bunch of games um, that you can immediately play. Uh, keep in mind right now, they, I think they have like 50, 60 uh, games on their list that are actually compatible with the game stick. Right. So some blockbusters like Riptide GP, uh, Shadowgun from the fine folks of Madfinger, Radiant, a great classic shooter. Um, and over here you can also sort it and filter it by popular. Uh, you can connect to your account. That's, um, Let's try Shadow Gun. You see you're getting additional information here. So let's talk a little bit about the specification of it. This is a, uh, a dual-core Cortex A9 uh, with a Mali 400 GPU, has one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of internal storage. Let's take a quick look around the device because you know it's similar to all these Android sticks that we've seen in the last two years. So we have a USB connector here, it's an HDMI out, a connector for a headset, and that's a micro SD card. Uh, reader. By the way, here is an HDMI out. There's another one, a micro one. So, um, not much to see here. But as soon as you plugged it to your TV, and as soon as you connect it to a power source uh, over the USB connector, you're good to go. So let's let's check out the performance of it. By the way, it should ship in May. I think they're, they're sending out the first developer's editions now, um, but the retail version should be available in May. And it's gonna cost $79? $79, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, and by the way, you can extend your internal storage with micro SD cards of up to 32 uh, gigabytes. Here we go. I mean, we're all familiar with uh, Shadow Gun, and actually, we've been playing it yesterday. Oh, I need to take cover here. <laughs> we've been playing it yesterday on the uh, on the BlackBerry 10 platform, <laughs> and this looks definitely way better. Well, the Mali uh, 400 GPU different. It's quite some better performance and. Uh, Blackberry still needs to figure out how to port games over there. So if you are looking for... Is it really a mobile console? Somehow it is, right? Because you can just put it in your pocket and, and go to your friend's house and play your favorite games. So if you're looking for anything like this, um, this is the game stick. And it's going to be available in May, $79. And you can play all these fantastic Android games. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.